Welcome to How to Connect to UBC Arc Sockeye. Before connecting to Sockeye, there are three things that need to be set up so that everything runs smoothly. These are the UBC MyVPN client, an enhanced UBC CWL, and a secure shell client. If you are missing any of these tools or are looking for more information about them, we encourage you to check out the links below or our Tools to Connect to Sockeye video. In order to connect to Sockeye, we first need to be on the UBC network, either by being on the UBC Vancouver or Okanagan campus, or by connecting to the UBC MyVPN. If you're unsure about how to connect to the UBC VPN or have questions, please refer to the links below or reach out to us at arc.support at ubc.ca. While there are a number of different tools you can use to connect to Sockeye, we'll cover two of the more popular SSH clients for Windows, Mobit Xterm and Putty. Additionally, we'll take a look at connecting on a Mac with the pre-installed terminal application. Let's start with Mobit Xterm. We'll open the application and select Session in the top left corner of the window. From there, select SSH in the Session Settings and enter sockeye.arc.ubc.ca in the Remote Host field. Check the Specify Username box and enter your UBC CWL in the Username field. Press OK and a new screen will appear prompting you for your CWL password. Don't worry that you can't see the letters you're typing for your password as they won't be displayed as a security measure. You'll then be prompted for your two-factor login, typically a duo push or SMS passcode. Select the appropriate option and voila, you've logged into Sockeye. Now we'll connect to Sockeye using PuTTY. Opening PuTTY will launch the configuration window. If not there already, click on Session at the top left of the window under the Category menu. In the Hostname or IP Address field towards the top center of the window, enter sockeye.arc.ubc.ca. Ensure the connection type is SSH and port 22 is specified. Click Open at the bottom of the window and a new terminal window should have pop up, prompting you for your CWL and password. You will then be asked to select an option for your second factor of authentication. Complete the prompt, and that's it. Welcome to Sockeye. Lastly, let's review connecting to Sockeye on your Mac's terminal. To start, type terminal in your search bar to find and open the application. Once you have a new terminal window open, type SSH, then space, then your CWL at sockeye.arc.ubc.ca and press enter. You will then be prompted to enter your password. Again, don't worry that you can't see the letters you're typing for your password, as they won't be displayed here either. Once you have entered your password, press Enter and select an option for two-factor authentication. Press 1 to use the Duo Push, accept the phone notification, and there you go, you're connected to Sockeye. If this is your first time connecting to Sockeye, you may notice a message that looks something like this. The authenticity of the host, your CWL, at sockeye.arc.ubc.ca can't be established. Are you sure you want to continue? It is okay here to enter yes and continue to connect in. Additionally, there are a few other common issues you might run into when trying to connect to Sockeye. First, if the password prompt does not appear and the screen hangs and eventually gives you an operation timed out error, you are likely not connected to the UBC network. Ensure you are on a UBC network on campus or are connected to the UBC MyVPN and try again. Second, if you try logging in and get an access denied message despite entering the correct CWL and password, then you may not have yet been given access to Sockeye. If you're an eligible UBC researcher, you can apply for an allocation at arc.ubc.ca slash Sockeye. Otherwise, talk to your supervisor and request access by reaching out to us at arc.support at ubc.ca. And that summarizes a few different ways you can connect to Sockeye using your PC or Mac. If you have any questions, feel free to check out the resources in the video notes and never hesitate to reach out with questions to us at arc.support at ubc.ca. Thank you.